Hello fellow option traders, this is Jeff and this is an update to the Profit 10 portfolio for Monday, February 11th, 2013. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be closing my positions for this month, for this expiration, which is this Friday, which I should have done last week, but I didn't. But let's take a look overall. Um, we can see that our delta of the entire portfolio here, and we'll just close up the queues here so it doesn't confuse things. The delta right now is minus 20, which means that it's a little bit um, on the hot side, I guess you might say, for the whole portfolio. It's a little bit on the bullish side, but that's okay. Uh, our profit for the month here is three hundred and sixty one dollars and fifty cents and I'm going to be closing everything I'll just close one for well maybe I'll just close them all in the video I'm not sure and I can keep talking while I'm closing these things and the easy way to close them let's see here um, do we have any that are really dirt cheap we do um, Let's take a look at the Analyze tab on Amazon. So I'm going to be closing the put side just because um, we're feeling a little pressure down here on the put side. So that's the side that I'll close. So if I um, just highlight the vertical, when I did my watch spreads here and I selected verticals, if I unselect verticals then everything kind of gets mixed up together here. And for Amazon, well, I can still click on this vertical here for Amazon. Make a liar out of me, think or swim. I can't believe you're doing that to me. Um, but we're looking at the uh, mark here, and we see that the calls are basically worthless, so I'm not even going to spend any money closing those, but I am going to close these puts. Um, so for my on the spread for portfolio, that's good that Amazon's dropping down. So I can right click on this vertical here and say create closing order and I'm going to buy this back for 21 cents and I'll and because I'm buying I'm going to have to get closer to the natural price. So we'll just say let's try 22 cents and see if that one works. Yes, it did. All right, so what other one are we concerned about here? CF. CF, I'm going to want to take a look at the call side on that one. I'm going to take a look at the calls. We're talking 11 cents for my short, and there's some risk there, so I'm going to go ahead and close that side of it. And so I'm closing this so that I don't have to worry about anything going crazy. I'll move it up two cents from the midpoint seven cents up to nine cents, and I'll go ahead and shoot that one out there. And that one closed just fine. The next one that we want to look at, MasterCard uh, on the Analyze tab. Looks like we, I don't know what the heck I did there. Oh, that's, here we go, MasterCard. MasterCard, we're right in the middle. Um, and we could, our, that short is a nickel, and that one is 18 cents on the put side, so I'm going to go and close the put side, probably because it's moving down. Let's see if I can. Uh, buy it for eight cents. Yes, I did. All right. Next one is Priceline. <clears throat> that one. Just looking at this, to say that uh, we are in jeopardy here on the call side, even though Priceline is moving down today. Uh, there's no nothing to worry about on the put side over here, but on the call side. We should close the call side and let the put side ride. So we'll do that. Now, um, if you need the money to do your next set of uh, iron condors and you don't have enough um, 
cash to be able to just close one side of these then you'll have to close both sides to free up the money so you can do more trades because even I'm only closing one side of the iron condor so it's still holding back if I look here at my buying power effect is not really going down as I close these just because I'm only closing one side alright so <clears throat> now we're all closed and what I am probably going to be doing here go back to Amazon and let's take a look here go down here to the positions and simulated trades and I'm going to say hide the positions go back to simulated trades let's take a look at March and what we can do for March and we're looking for uh, deltas around 19 so here's one at 22 we'll uh, set that one up do a vertical on that on the call side and on the put side we're looking for a delta here we have uh, 240 for our short and we'll take a look at the risk profile and we see that we're looking at a potential hundred and sixty three dollars with three hundred thirty seven of risk so that's roughly a two to one risk reward which is what we like we'll change our probability date to the 16th of March and we can see that um, one standard deviation for the 16th of March is out here just about at our shorts uh, but not at the break-evens but if we take a look at a chart I can't do that here I have to chart and let's take these lines out here these are the iron condor for February the range here so let's we'll say delete all drawings and then we'll go back to our analyze and let's see how it looks on a chart so let's set slices to break even for March and then we will say let's set slices to chart and we can see that we are looking at a March expiration which is this red line out here and we're looking to see if even if following the current trend um, say we take this 15 is this a 15 EMA or a 9 it's a 15 EMA if we take that line and extend it out we would come down to about here we could draw a trend line in here and see how that looks if the trend continues um, we could end up very close to our break even down here but as you know these trends this is a pretty long trend right now it's already a couple of weeks long and whether it will continue or not um, we don't know but typically the trends don't really last all that long and it kind of wobbles around so what would be a good thing actually is if the trend continues for another week or so and then reverses and we'll have plenty of room for it to reverse so that is well we'll just leave that drawing on there um, that is what we are going to do on Amazon and that's what I'm going to do on the rest of them for March um, before well the markets about to close so I probably may only be able to get this particular one in so I'm going to say create duplicate order and send it off and do the same thing for this create duplicate order and send it off and so now we are in let's take these simulated ones out of here we are in Amazon now for March we can uncheck the February that we have left take these off too and that's where we are that's uh, actual trade reset the slices current price right here 
one standard deviation out to here probability is uh, about 79 percent on this side and come on about uh, 80 percent on this side so we have a very good probability that this um, trade will end up within the break evens so I'll be doing that for CF, CMG, MasterCard, and Priceline, uh, trying to get them in before the market closes. So that's it for this video for the Profit 10 Portfolio update. Uh, again, February was a good month, good expiration month, 350 some dollars. That's all right with me without putting all that much at risk. So we put like about $3,000 at risk, so we made 10% on our at risk amount so that's good alright that's it um, thanks for watching have a great day and happy trading